Thank you so much. Thank you so much for your warm words uh, at the beginning of uh, the conference for us, the team uh, of Graz. It's um, fantastic and wonderful to be part uh, of this project, of this project, of these projects uh, we have done uh, in the uh, last years. And uh, thank you also for the invitation uh, to your lovely city. city. Uh, we just discovered yesterday uh, the Riga uh, uh, inner city. It was wonderful. And we, we have uh, also seen the black cat on the roof. So uh, I think this is one of the most important uh, things to see here uh, in Riga. Um, to seek, uh, to search for. This is um, what uh, I want to talk about uh, with you um, this, this day. Ah, I see it here, right one, yes. Um, it's never too late uh, to seek a hidden solution uh, in any phase of conflict management, even in the judicial environment. So uh, maybe I can uh, directly connect uh, to uh, Dr. Uh, Peterson uh, before when she talked about conciliation. So the conciliation hearing at court in the field of amicable dispute resolution is my topic for today. And you see here um, the contents um, about uh, the development uh, in Austria, how does it work, um, this kind of conciliation hearing, um, what are the differences uh, to Germany, uh, and uh, let's uh, find our uh, um, uh, resume uh, at, at the end. Um, at the beginning, I want to uh, bring you um, nearer a brief case um, um, about uh, an applicant uh, who seeks from the defendant to immediately uh, seize specific noise effects emanating uh, from the flat above, uh, namely by the fact that children were almost, almost uh, constantly, but especially late at night, running through the flat above, screeching and banging uh, on the floor with the toys. The undue um, noises uh, substantially uh, impaired uh, the customary uh, use of the flat. It was impossible uh, to settle um, this uh, case in the oral hearing, but the parties uh, accepted the offer of conciliation hearing with a special trained judge. In the conciliation discussion, it turned out that the applicant was seriously ill. The party uh, had treatment approximately once a month, which was uh, very painful and uh, she was sensitive to noise and uh, in uh, need of rest afterwards. For the case, uh, the uh, given information was important that the applicant regularly did not stay in the flat for many days, instead spent the time uh, at, at her friend's place. What was the solution uh, of the parties? Firstly, they exchanged mobile phone numbers. Secondly, the sick party notifies the family when she has uh, her treatment. In that case, the family spends time outdoors or with rel relatives. Thirdly, the rest of the month, there are no restrictions. The apparent points of contentions noise, children, different cultures, dissolved when the parties came to talk about their, you all know it, their interests. A solution adapted to the living situation was found, which could not have come in the form of a judgment. Mediation, um, just to talk about this, was out of the question because the parties had no other financial means. So, what is the conciliation hearing? The conciliation hearing is a voluntary, non-public procedure in which an independent judge, and this is the most important point of uh, this uh, definition, without decision-making authority, who is specially trained in communication, mediation, and conflict management, assists the parties to work out an amicable solution to their problems themselves. Let's have a look to the uh, development uh, in Austria. 
For some years now, churches trained as some churches trained as uh, mediators have been uh, working in the higher regional uh, court district of Vienna at uh, individual uh, district courts to reach settlements in conflict disputes that have become pending in court. The conciliation procedure is currently um, in project uh, status dealing with civil, family and tenancy law cases. The judges do um, this work, do this work uh, voluntarily and without being credited uh, in the schedule of responsibility. Legal basis, uh, let's talk about uh, um, in this, in this uh, presentation. The conflict arena has, um, you have seen already, uh, been extended uh, to court and the conciliatory uh, work has been delegated to a judge. The legal basis for this project situation is primarily um, the paragraph 204 of the Austrian Code of Civil Procedure. This um, paragraph offers two connecting factors for the use of conciliation judges. These are on the one hand, uh, it's in section one, uh, sentence two, according to which um, if it appears suitable, reference is to be made to institutions that are suitable for the amicable resolution of disputes. This could be a mediator, but could also be uh, a conciliation judge. On the other hand, um, also in paragraph 204 of this um, Code of Civil Procedure, um, here in... Um, uh, section 2, sentence 1, can also be considered, uh, according to this, for the purpose to attempt a settlement, the parties uh, may, if they agree, be referred to a requested judge. This one is not the judge responsible for the proceedings. Therefore, with the party's consent, the trial um, judge can refer conflictual cases in which mediating appears more practical than judging to a specially trained colleague judge. Within the time frame of an um, average of half a day or two sessions of approximately um, two hours, uh, this this judge assists the party in working out an amicable solution using the method of conflict management. But at what point does the trial judge refer the parties for whom um, he considers such a procedure helpful to the conciliation judge? In principle, this already happens in the preparatory hearing. Occasionally, also at a later stage of the proceedings. Ideally, when the trial judge refers the parties to the conciliation judge, he assigns the next hearing date. So, if the parties will not settle, the court proceedings are not delayed. For the duration of the conciliation proceeding, no taking of evidence is carried out uh, in the judicial continu continuous and non-contentious uh, proceedings. Interruption, furthermore, in uh, matters of non-contentious uh, uh, proceedings, like uh, matters of uh, custody and um, contact rights, the instrument of interruption um, is available. This provision serves uh, to pause the proceedings to enable an amicable uh, settlement, particularly um, with the support of an uh, appropriate body. Further examples of an interruption of the proceedings are the suspension of uh, proceedings and the consensual interruption. Such procedural steps help the judges, you know it already, as uh, the pending case, uh, case is uh, temporarily removed from the annual statistics. A real um, big problem or a big uh, topic uh, in Austria and I think also, also in uh, other 
um, states. So let's talk uh, a little bit about the confidentiality. Uh, a not considerable uh, legal issue um, arises uh, from the lack of uh, explicit uh, confidentiality protection provision. We heard uh, before as well. However, such can be uh, created through judicially, uh, judicial uh, activity and be procedurally uh, implemented uh, through, in Austria, it's the paragraph 220, uh, number three of um, the Civil Procedure Code. In this case, the offense of uh, maintaining official secrecy applies uh, to the judges. However, the problem here is the possible release from the duty by the president of the higher regional court. So the confidentiality uh, is not absolute. In practice, furthermore, a contractual confidentiality clause is used by agreeing on confidentiality in the conciliation hearing so that facts uh, that become known may neither be brought uh, forward nor used in any subsequent uh, contentious or non-contentious uh, proceedings. In addition, the conciliation judge may not be called as a witness. However, whether these uh, agreements are legally valid is unclear as um, the civil procedure does not recognize uh, such exclusion of violence arrangements. The same applies to an indemnity uh, clause so uh, that the leather measure could remain toothless. So real legal uh, problems. Let's come to the uh, conciliation, conciliation uh, hearing. If all involved parties agree to uh, contact judicial conciliation proceedings, the conciliation judge schedules, schedules um, the first hearing. In principle, all parties uh, to the proceedings take part uh, in this hearing. However, a um, representation uh, system may be necessary in exceptional uh, cases where many parties are involved, like uh, condominium uh, cases. It is also conceivable that um, third party are, parties are involved. Of course, the participation of legal representatives um, is permissible, um, although, uh, as known uh, from mediation, the judge uh, has to ensure procedural clarity and equal opportunity. The conciliation judge is reasonab reasonable uh, for the proceeding. He assists the parties to resolve the conflict, uh, which has led to court proceedings by themselves in an amicable and future-oriented manner. The, the, the essential point is uh, that in cases, uh, the conflict has little to do um, with uh, the subject matter of the legal dispute. The court proceeding is the wrong choice. In contrast, in the conciliation hearing, the parties are guided to recognize each other's needs behind uh, the conflict to shift away from the often rigid position uh, and standpoints, and standpoints and move towards a common goal. Also, we know about uh, the mediation process. The conciliation judge does not give legal information or advice, and unlike uh, court proceedings, a conciliation, a conciliation hearing is never conducted uh, from the uh, judge's table. Um, this difference is already evident uh, in the settings. While uh, in the courtroom, there is a fixed uh, seating arrangement in accordance with the hierarchy, this is entirely free and variable in the conciliation hearing. The conciliation uh, proceedings run through three phases. Uh, you also, you know it uh, from the uh, mediation uh, in the sense of open um, your mind, open your heart, uh, and open uh, the, will, the will in the sense of uh, the parties. A conciliation hearing can only, only be successful if and as long as the parties are constructively interested in and work to solve the problem. Therefore, it can be terminated um, at any time by the parties and the conciliation judge um, if the preconditions for this are not or no longer given. 
agreement, if an agreement is reached at the end of the uh, process, it will be documented informally uh, for the parties, similar uh, to the mediation, such uh, as a flip chart protocol. In any cases, the parties are advised to discuss an agreement with the uh, legal representative before concluding it. Only thereafter should it be decided whether the agreement reached uh, should be uh, concluded either out of uh, court or in the next hearing before the trial judge as a court settlement. The latter approach makes it possible to create a court settlement uh, filled with the content agreed upon the conciliation hearing and thus an enforceable execution uh, title. Sometimes, however, the parties agree to suspend the proceedings. A little bit about the costs. There are no additional uh, court costs for the conciliation proceedings. These are already covered by the court fees. So the legal, the legal costs, however, representation costs, uh, travel costs, expenses, uh, for instance, uh, for translators uh, are not reimbursed and must uh, therefore be paid uh, by the parties themselves. Of course, this is a project and uh, therefore uh, it's uh, the possibility uh, not to pay everything for your own. So let's uh, switch to uh, Germany just to get uh, an information uh, about uh, the differences um, there. The situation in Germany is uh, somewhat different. Um, first of all, the conciliation hearing has been legally enshrined uh, since 2013 with the creation of the German Mediation Promotion Act, um, which is um, uh, part of this movement, movement of the um, mediation directive of um, the European Union. This step primarily uh, put an end to the discussion about mediation within courts such uh, is uh, not intended anymore. However, by now, in a pended case, person to uh, the paragraph 278 of the German Code of uh, Civil Procedure, the trial court can choose the conciliation judge from several options for consensual conflict uh, resolutions. Um, uh, the conciliation judge uh, acts uh, in this case as an organ of the administration of justice with full judicial independence. This is a main difference. Uh, he or she is um, therefore a real judge who must in principle be included in the business uh, allocation plan. He is uh, free um, to apply all methods of uh, conflict resolution, including mediation in conciliation proceedings, but may not make any substantive decisions. Thereby, the personal appearance uh, of the parties is to be ordered in accordance um, with uh, uh, 278 uh, German Code of Civil Procedure, whether uh, the judge makes use of the uh, possibility as uh, at his, uh, this or her discretion. If one party does not appear, a conciliation hearing cannot occur. If both parties fail to attend, the proceedings are suspended. So this is something special uh, out from the uh, uh, civil procedure and uh, is different to the mediation, of course. The confidentiality of judges uh, in Germany is ensured uh, by the statutory duty of confidentiality, which is uh, also safeguarded by uh, procedural uh, law. From the parties' uh, perspective, the confidentiality of the conciliation hearing can only be achieved by contract. If the parties uh, reach a final agreement, um, this can be notarized, and here's a big difference, by the conciliation judge. You remember the Austrian uh, judge uh, is, uh, for him or her, is not uh, possible to notarize uh, the 
the agreement. This uh, can ans only do the trial judge within um, the framework of a court settlement. For them, furthermore, the proceedings uh, can be terminated uh, by a concordant declaration of settlement and uh, by the withdrawal of the action. If the parties do not reach a result, the proceedings before the conciliation judge are terminated and the trial judge continues the process. Let's come uh, to an end uh, and to the resume. Germany's case figures, we all operate with uh, figures, Germany's case figures show that uh, conciliation judge proceedings are still no mass phenomenon. Phenomenon. Albert, uh, the offer is certainly perceived as sympathetic. The process ending conclusion frequency of such proceedings is only in that case solid if the parties agree to initiation of um, the conciliation hearing in advance. On the other hand, in the case of a um, mayor order, the risk of failure and thus of double uh, referrals, referrals is high. The German regulation also clarifies that despite the idea of peace under the law through mediation, the structural integration of a conciliation judge into judicial procedural law must fulfill its primary purpose. That means that the goal of the court proceedings remains foremost the determination and enforcement of subjective rights. It should also be noted that uh, in the final analysis, the conciliation judge acts as a state judge and not as an extra judicial mediator. Finally, by deliberately uh, leaving the definition of conciliation hearings open, the use of a range of conflict management uh, procedures is also permissible. Consequently, the use of moderation, evaluation, conciliation and final offer procedures would be conceivable. The only question is whether and to what extent uh, methodological clarity must be established for the parties. Such a detailed legal regulation is lacking in Austria. Some commentators, uh, however, see the juridification um, as the necessary next step in helping the existing uh, project of conciliation proceedings achieve a breakthrough. However, the, pre the preceding statements of the German situation do not support this demand. Therefore, a cautious minimum regulation with uh, safeguards um, the judicial activity and uh, protects the parties seems to be a more practical approach for all those who seek to expand the judicial function. What does this all mean for mediation? At the first glance, conciliation in the judicial environment gives the impression that mediation would be pushed out of uh, the court and the mediator displaced. However, after a closer look, it becomes clear that mediation trained conciliation judges carry the idea of consensus into the uh, judiciary and pass it on to the parties and the legal profession. Thank you. And I'm happy and looking forward uh, for the discussion. Thank you, Sasha.